What's up, nerds? Hello and happy Wednesday yet again. We are back playing episode two of While the Iron is Hot. Um, if you want something a little bit more chilled out, we are going to try and be a bit more chilled out this episode, but if you want something really lo-fi, uh, if you swap audio options, there is a lo-fi only audio track. So you don't have to listen to me, you can just listen to some sweet, chilled music uh, and just enjoy the video game. So it's your choice, it's whatever you're going to do, swap now. Grab your beverage of choice, mine is a jasmine green tea, um, and let's get into the episode. Okay, so we are with Splinter, um, who is this little fella? just made him the same helmet as his favorite knight. So we're giving him that now. Myrtle wants me to tell you that the notice board is repaired in case you haven't already seen it. I do love that we are standing right in front of it as I am getting this information. <laughs> Posting jobs for you already. Is it gonna have more quests? Oh, look at it! This tiny helmet. Okay. Ooh, okay, I have a lot. This is pretty cool. Um, let's just take them all. And hope that there's not a time limit. In fact, do I need to talk to them? going to just give him my pickaxe, um, but no, I might need it, you never know. We'll make him a grand shiny one, and it'll be the most majestic pickaxe that has ever pickaxed. Why is this man aggressively running at me? <laughs> and now aggressively running away. Ah. What was this? Oh, okay, that's my upgrade station. Let's go make some stuff. I've done that, but I've not... Okay. I've not got all my letters, have I? Okay, so... We need... Okay, our recipes are down here, so we need some knitting needles. So, two iron strips, two sharpened iron strips. Let's start with these. I've just realized <laughs> it's been a while since I've played this and I've just realized that you're not supposed to hit it inside the box you're supposed to hit it around the box so 
that's not going to be great. But hopefully this one can be better. There we go, that one's better. Um, oh no, one of them's red. That's not ideal. Okay. So, we want. I've only made one of those. Okay. Right, so we want these here. And these here. I think that's what I needed. Oh, yay, there we go. Okay, missing needles. Okay, what else? Another iron pickaxe. So, two iron sharpened curved plates and three wood logs. I think I figured that one out now. And then I need another one. I'm hoping I still I do I still have wood logs I hope this is right please be right <laughs> <Ta -da>! <laughs> yay <laughs> okay yeah that is exactly what we needed um Yeah, I need an axe, a pan, and a spatula. Iron sharpened plate and wood logs. Okay, so I think that's what it looked like. Hey. I literally only looked at it a second ago and I've already forgotten what the order was. Um, a pan and a spatula. So, what do I need for those? <gasps> oh no. Um, I don't have the tools for those uh, so I can't do those right 
right now. But I'm guessing I'll I'll very quickly pick up the recipes for those. But for now, let's go get some sleep. And then tomorrow we'll go back and deliver the three pieces we have been able to do. And hopefully somewhere in that we get these recipes. Who knows? I'm hoping that's how it works. Ooh. Increase the price of each. Okay, this one. <laughs> this one would be incredibly useful. If anybody watched episode one, you'll know it took about four minutes of real time to smelt the amount of iron I was trying to smelt in one go. However, Oh, I don't know. That one's incredibly useful, but I am going to go with this. Because we're right at the start of the game. And money is just invaluable. Okay. Let's go deliver some goodies. understand why when you go on the world map you get battle music. Oh, nope. <laughs> But a thief. Who is the thief? Where is the guy calling for help? Look at this guy. I'll give you that first. Oh, thank you, Willow. <laughs> a rat stole from me again. Okay, I was expecting a person, but I'll accept a rat as well. There's still one more person that I had something for. Knitting needles? Where's the lady with the knitting needles? Is she the merchant? Oh no, she's the... Okay, hang on. Oh, Mel! Okay. I have walked past Mel about three times. I can do this. This is fine. Where are you hiding? <laughs> it won't let me talk to Myrtle. Is it because... I don't know why it won't let me give. It says up here, deliver knitting needles to metal, but it won't let me. 
I don't think I have the recipes for these yet. understand what happens if any of your stuff is red. Um. So it needs to be purple or we don't get paid properly. But why do I let me talk to Myrtle? found a new area. <laughs> I knew there was a way. There must be somewhere else to go, right? And now we have found it. This looks like an old blacksmith shop. So I'm wondering. Oh, I have a hat. I'm wondering if I'll find recipes. Wait, what does this do? That looks like a recipe. I don't know what these are. Is there any upstairs in there? No? Okay. So I think that's all we can get from in there. For now anyway. There'll be something we need to do with the forge. Okay, that's good to know. 
good to know indeed. Let's go. Make another axe. Um, yeah, my axe broke. Uh, and I gave away my hatchet. So I need another iron hatchet. gave away this as well, but we'll start with the axe, so... This... There we go. Check before I put this together. Wood, wood, iron. Okay. From the bottom. Wood, wood, iron. Boom. Ow. Try that again. There we go. And we have our axe back. So now. Hatchet is the same, except we only use one piece of wood. Hopefully that's fine. Yep, there we go. Uh, what else? There's one more thing. What was it? It was this. Okay. Um, sharpened curved plates and a wood log. Beautiful. Okay, we're getting better at the mini games, guys. <laughs> Last week, the mini games weren't so good at them. Timing was awful, everything was red. This week, better. <laughs> Not perfect, still room for improvement, but better. <laughs> And I will accept that. Let's see. Let's make a chain. Let's make seven blunt iron strips. Uh, how many do I have, in fact? Five. Okay, so I only need to do that once more. And we're golden. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Perfect. And it's these two corners that are empty. So. Please work. Pretty please. <laughs> This one's got me nervous. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I've made everything that I can make for now. I have these. Once for 
the one that does. So yeah, I have the knitting needles. I might just, because they weren't very good. So I might just remake the knitting needles. Just in case, that's why it's not letting me speak to her. Two iron, two sharpened iron. Do I have... I have one iron. Typical. zombie walk on. Um, I think it goes like this. Knitting needles. Yay! <laughs> okay, now our poor guy is dead on his feet. So let's zombie walk our way over to our little... It looks like a church, but I guess it's our house. And let's sleep. There's nothing else for it. Until morning, please. I just got hit on the nose by my own tea bag. <laughs> it's a good start. Now that I have made what I can only call a perfect set of knitting needles, perfection, let's go see if it will allow me. Can I go onto the map in this way? Yes, I can. Let's see if it will allow me to deliver these knitting needles. Second time's the job. And maybe while we're over that, we have a look at in fact, let's just do that now, shall we? <gasps> We've got a well! Good things always happen at wells. My dude just punched a tree out of existence. <laughs> I went with the hand option because I thought maybe he'll shake it or something and something will fall out or someone will fall out. Um, didn't expect him to punch the tree to death. Apparently my guy thinks he's Chris Redfield. <gasps> Look at this fellow! Oh my god. Hi! Oh, hi, friends. Don't call me a twerp, that's not very nice. Oh, this, this mouse is sassy. well and naturally I climbed in because that's what you do apparently. <gasps> can, can I have this, this guy as my companion because that would be pretty sick. Into knitting. 
Please, please be knitting. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. That has made my day. That is just perfection. My guy, I've got you. Don't you even worry. I have two sets of knitting needles on my person as we speak. I, your prayers have been answered, my little friend. I have left two myrtle. Can I go this way? No, I can't. No. Just a shame. this guy and oh, why do they look like Aragorn? Exciting. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very nice. Jesus. studied this so-called chandelier. I will give you an opportunity to try to make this order, but beware, only the absolutely exceptional will do. Okay. A regular chandelier is useless to me, but should you succeed, you'll be greatly rewarded. I wish these people would give me the recipes for the things that they need. Let me speak to Myrtle. Why? Okay. These are all things I know I can make. I don't think I have 
the recipe for a fishing rod. I do not. I don't have the recipe for a fishing rod, so that's not going to help me. Why has Myrtle glitched? Uh, I'm going to unstick her order because it's going to drive me crazy seeing that at the top of my screen and not being able to do anything about it. the other two want because if I have it on them on me they can they can have it and I'll make it later. Um I think the only thing I don't have is the hammer and her skillet as well. Oh she needs to be find Willow, give him my pickaxe, um, I don't think, I think this is the guy, the old blacksmith, um, I don't have what I need to make the pans, I don't have what I need to make the spatula, she won't accept the knitting needles. <laughs> it won't even let me talk to her, so. Let's go make the hammer, and hopefully if it lets me talk to her to make the hammer, I can also give her the knitting needles. Or I'm gonna be like, doubly screwed. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, it is freezing in the room that I'm recording in. Um, and like, you know where uh, your hands start to move really slowly because of how cold it is? I think I'm there. <gasps> can I give- oh my god, can I give him the heart? Oh boy, looks like you're stuck, buddy. Oh. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, yes. Join me for a campfire. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I love you. I just need to give you a hat. You belong with a hat. myself as a blacksmith, become a master. It's my passion and I couldn't grow by staying in my hometown. <laughs> no. No. I can't say I've ever tried grass chewing, but I'm glad you found your passion too. <laughs> Let me give him... <gasps> is, mm, is he gonna come with me? Oh, don't don't excite me like this. Don't don't do this if you're not serious, game. It's very excited me. Awesome. I'll make sure you have a nice day. Oh, I'm so excited. You can make your way to the village in the morning, and I'll see you there. See, this is why we're doing a little explore of the map. I have an ox now, and I'm going to give him a hat. I think this is all that was there. Yeah, that's all that was there. But I have an ox. There's something up here, so I'm thinking maybe I have to go around. There we go. I think I have to go around it to get to where I need to be. Let's say hello to this guy. 
He's gonna tell me the bridge needs repairing. And I'm gonna be like, no problem. I got you. It's fine. The bridge is falling apart. It's too dangerous for common citizens. This man just called me a peasant. Wow, soot. <laughs> okay, he's not very nice, so we're gonna just ignore him. I need to make myself another axe and talk to the guy about the chandelier. So maybe make up. Oh, 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 there he is. He's the present. The present. Ah. <laughs> he looks so dapper. Oh my god. Oh, look at him. absolutely my favourite part of this game. <laughs> and that's a compliment because I'm enjoying a lot of this game. Um, what am I making? Okay. Axe. I should know this one by now because I've done it enough. Sharpen it. And then for the axe, it's this. I think. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then we need to make an iron hammer. So it's a hatchet. But you don't sharpen it. There we go. And this should do it. Yes, there we go nailing this whole blacksmithing thing. Right, now, let's find, before we leave the village again, let's find Dryden? Dryston? Dryden? Dry, it's either Dryston or Driston. I'm gonna find Driston. I feel like that's... Right? I don't know. I don't know. If you, if you guys know how to pronounce that, please let me know in the comments because I haven't got the slightest clue. But I'm going with Tristan until someone informs me otherwise. There's a mailbox right by your forge. Thanks, Dad. You can receive payment without weighing down your pockets. They've never seen the mail service employees and they are sort of a mystery. Rest assured, Elliot's postal services are very trustworthy. Speaking of help, I met a serious buyer in Strom with a request I'm not familiar with. <laughs> no, I absolutely did not say I couldn't do it, because that would have been the smart thing. I said, obviously, I can do it. Yeah, fake it till you make it, obviously. All they said is that they want a chandelier whose light will never go out. 
I mean, sounds a bit sus to me, to be honest, but it is what it is. Old alien magic. Here we go. We're getting into the, the mystical. This is what I've been waiting for. No one needs an everlasting wax candle these days. They much prefer oil lanterns. I mean, I think I would rather have an everlasting candle to have to burn oil all the time, but that's just me. Well, let's find out. Oh, schematic! Yes. When I searched Tvasta's old forge, is that where I got the chain schematic from? I didn't think it would ever be useful, but I guess we're lucky. Yeah, boy! Right. In fact, let's look at it before we go through there, because I might not have the things I need. Undying chandelier. So I need four lit undying candles. A chain, which I have. Four iron curved plates, which I can make. So how? Wait, whoa, 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 Excuse me. I thought I read it wrong, basically. I read it wrong. I thought there was something more to it that was telling me how to get the candles. Um, but it wasn't. I was just being silly. I have a candle here. Thanks, guys. Ooh, okay, this might tell me where to, I doubt it, but this might tell me where to get my candles from. Today marks 10 years on Alien, and much has changed. Alien's reputation and popularity has spread, our talent is just incredible. Warriors, kings, and legendary heroes have set sail for our shores to buy from our craftsmen. Yesterday, a young warrior by the name of Cobra came to my shop. He told me how he killed the devilish sea serpent and brought me its scales and fangs. He requested that a sword and spear be crafted with a pommel sheathed in its skin. Gross. It was a good payday, and he liked the final pieces so much that he gave me the serpent's teeth. Once forged, young Cobra gallantly strode out the door, holding the spear in his left hand and the sword in his right. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh, <laughs> I think I've just figured it out. He seemed ready and eager for his next adventure. Yet, despite all the happiness, I cannot ignore this pit I feel in my stomach. I fear for Elian. There is greed out there and those who seek control over our plentiful resources and talented makers. I will continue to use my skills to help our people protect this land so it can remain a place of harmony and creative innovation. Oh, this guy seems cool. Um, I, okay, I have the hammer, that's good. Okay, so I don't think it matters which spear I use. But I think I know how to get the candles. I think. <laughs> I could be completely barking up the wrong tree here. Hello, friend! <laughs> Hi! Oh, I love him. Right, so we need to go. There's a couple of places we need to go, to be fair. But we're gonna go here because it's, like, right next door. And it's night time, so... Yeah. Um, holding the spear in his left hand and the sword in his right. So hopefully, this is left and this is right and it's not backwards for some bizarre reason. I've also forgotten what the book said. Spear, left, sword, right. Spear. Oh, 
okay. Okay, okay, okay. What did I just take? taking it out of there because I feel like it's gonna need it. Um, is there no way I can put it back? Okay, all right, all right. Let's see if the merchant at Strom sells candles because if she does, there's gotta be a way to combine those flaming logs with candles to make burning everlasting lit candle flame. I just think I've got enough energy to do this and get home. Hopefully. Is this guy gonna stand here until I'm done? Oh, it's letting me talk to her. Okay, 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 okay. She needs three. That's why. <laughs> okay. So, I need to make. Did she take off? She took one, so I need to make two more knitting needles. But I'm here for you. Oh, you don't have candles. I am gonna buy more can uh, more of these swamp flannel axe majiggles. Like you do. <laughs> um, we'll check the board over here. I can make a pickaxe. I can make that and I can make that. Let's see if I can give any of them mine for the time being. Okay. I'm also gonna unpin this. I don't need a pin quest. And it's distracting me being up here. Is Willow down here? Yeah, there he is. Yay! Oh, we're doing it, guys. We're making some money. Did he just give me a schematic? I missed it, but I think I got a schematic for an iron sight. Okay. Um. Ooh, okay. So what I got from that forge wasn't another swamp log, even though that's what it looked like. It was this little eternal flame from the So I think we now have everything we need. Well, no, we don't because we need candles, but apart from candles, we have everything we need to make this weird chandelier. So let's go do it. I've got a raspberry lemonade and it tastes like... Can anyone remember Yop? <laughs> the big, like, yogurt drink. Is that one of those? Or a fruit? Do I have the energy to make? Yeah, I think I do. still okay it's still purple I think we're still all right and it's for me anyway I'm not trading it for anybody okay okay so 
so I have my axe back. I've just realised though that I don't have any of my other tools. So I've clearly given them away. Two iron sharpened dead plates, three locks. Okay. How many of those do I have? So on. You're gonna make me do it again. Okay. Damn it, I forgot you had to do it twice. <laughs> okay, better. So, it looks a bit like a pickaxe from what I can remember. So that should, should be it. And it is, there we go. And I can now make An iron scythe. Okay, so it's an axe, but with a sharpened strip at the top instead. Scythe. Um, anything else I need? I've got an axe, I've got a pickaxe. I feel like I need some form of weapon. Uh, iron sharpened plate. Single double iron strips. Two iron strips. But these are unsharpened. So this is sharpened. again. Sorry guys, my memory is incredibly bad. So, single at the top, double in the middle, iron either side, and a lock. Okay, I think that's it.
say that and then it gave me the option to talk to Justin so I took it <laughs> golly I was just a young man the last time I saw these embers I used to help his first star feed the fire was he his apprentice? because that's pretty cool it was with the eternal flame I can upgrade your smelter so that you can harness its majestic power it's hotter than any wood burning or coal fire even split the flame to have endless candlelight. Oh, yes! <laughs> That's just what I need! Who knew? That sounds like magic. We didn't have that where I come from. Here, we are more connected to earthly properties. You work so closely with our raw materials, you begin to learn some secrets. Now that you mention it, I started feeling something strange when I arrived here. That was guilt from reading that guy's diary. That's what that was. And yes, I did crash it. Thank you for the reminder. When you want me to upgrade the smell to the eternal flame, go to the design table by your house and confirm the new plans. I know that we're like dead on our feet here. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Well, no, I've gone the wrong way. We're gonna do it anyway. Um, I did go the complete opposite way to what I needed to, but I'm not very good with directions. Uh, so, So final. Um, I don't have any steel, so I can't make the Damascus hammer or the steel hammer. I can make the hinges, um, but yeah, there's not a lot more I can do. Now we are going to go to bed. <laughs> And we're gonna sleep an entire day away, apparently. Because I stayed up all night. Oh, look at all the characters I met. This guy was an asshole. You three. Lovely. Okay, right. Increases the time you have to react during the grindstone minigame. I haven't had any problem with that yet, so I'm going to skip that one for now. Feels weird, like it feels like I'm going to need it. Uh, reduces by 5% the price to buy items. Yeah, that one. It's We're in the early stages, it's all about how much money we can save. Slash make. Everlasting candles and old alien magic. This fast star's forge always had a warm glow. But I don't know how to make them and I haven't seen it since. Well, that's not very helpful. If it's a magic from here, there must be some somewhere. Now that I think about it, after Tvasta left, the everlasting candles in the forge disappeared. I noticed tiny footprints in his office. I bet you it's the same rat that stole my knife. Oh my god, it's Porge! <laughs> oh my god, come on guys. We're gonna check our journal really quickly. Oh, knitting needles. Um... needles, iron pickaxe, iron ants. Oh my god. Hello beautiful ox. Hey, hi. I actually wanted to get into the door but I will always say hi to you. Uh, we are going to make Sharpened. 
one sharpened, so three sharpened. And strips. How many strips do I have? I need four. I have four, okay. Press the wrong button. So I've got three of those. Nope, I've just done a roll. They don't need to do that. I need two for that, none for them. Oh, for that. Okay, so we're good. So we need. Two of these. And then all of these. Last one. It's actually getting harder because my fingers are so cold. <laughs> I'm self-sabotaging again. Um, okay, so the pickaxe looks like a pickaxe. If I remember that correctly. I'm gonna double check, but I think the other one just has the strip and then a one piece of wood. Yes. And then the knitting needles. Two and sharpened, two sharpened. Okay. okay. just realized that I have to make one more set of knitting needles so I need to do that again um. I need to do this twice because I need four Them. Oh, I've got six. I didn't need to do that. No, I did need to do that twice. Uh, two of these need sharpening. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. What happened to my other set of knitting needles? Did I give it to her already? I feel like she's already got them. If I get over to Strong and she hasn't got one pair of knitting needles, I'm gonna be so annoyed at myself. the goodies. 
Apart from this guy, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay, and now you. I don't have your spatula, but I do have your pickaxe. Uh, anyone else here? I've done that. <laughs> So it has glitched out a little bit, but nothing we can't handle. Uh, can't make them. All I can make is these. Go visit our new fairy friend and see if we've got any magic candles. Let's also not punch the tree to death this time. Okay. Hi friend, I bet that's what these are. Can I have some magical candles, please? I knew it wouldn't be long before you returned for a custom sweater. Oh my god, I would love a custom sweater knitted by poor G. Yes, please. I was thinking we'd really lean into the blacksmith theme with maybe a hammer and an anvil. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm not here for a sweater. However, I would like to ask for your help. I know, I'm disappointed too, Bloody. I'm in need of a rare item, everlasting candles, and not just one, I need enough for a chandelier. Unfortunately, I am not joking. I can light them. You don't have the everlasting flame, but I do. So I can light them. Give me all your candles. Yes! Some say they worked with fire so much that they became friends. And one day the forge fire spit out a little flame and gifted the smith the everlasting light. I have the light now, I just need the candles. <laughs> and I will be coming back for that sweater. I'm very excited to have a hand knitted sweater by my rat friend. And we will make the axe and the hatchet and the everlasting candles in the next episode. I really hope that you are enjoying this game as much as I am. Um, and as well, go play it for yourself. Don't just take my word at how cute and enjoyable it is. You might have very different tastes to me. I don't know. Go play it for yourself. Show the creators a lot of love. Until next time, guys, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and stay chaotic. Bye-bye.